Hi, boys and girls. Today I thought I would share a story with you that I have found by the same author as the Kindness Snippets um, book. And this one is called A Little Spot Stays Home, a story about viruses and safe distancing, written and illustrated by Diane Alber. So I thought I would share it with you. Um, as you can see, the little spot has a mask on, and I know my kids are not thrilled about wearing masks. So I thought that maybe this um, might connect with some of you guys. So let's see what you think. A Little Spot Stays Home, a story about viruses and safe distancing. To all the essential workers who are keeping us safe. What a great dedication. Hi, I'm a little safety spot. I'm here to keep you safe when a virus starts spreading too fast and gets a lot of people very sick. What's a virus? Viruses are tiny particles that can make you ill. They are so small that you can only see them with a microscope. Wow, look at that. These particles are also known as germs. These germs love to stick to your hands, doorknobs, cardboard boxes, and toys. That is why we disinfect surfaces like countertops and objects. A virus can move from an object, like a doorknob, to your hand. Once it's on your hand, it can enter your body when you touch your eyes, nose, or mouth to make you sick. That's why it's so important to wash your hands to clean off germs before you eat, after you go to the bathroom, and after you're done playing. So it's important that you use soap and wash your hands really well for at least 20 seconds. Sing the happy birthday song twice. When a virus enters your body, you can start to have symptoms. Symptoms don't make you feel very good. They can be a fever, a cough, and a sore throat. People can spread a virus more when they have symptoms. Because germs come out of their nose and mouth when they cough and sneeze. So here we have three friends who have a sore throat, a cough, and a fever. If you become sick, you should stay at home or go to the doctor, which can help prevent others from getting ill. If you are having symptoms, wearing a mask is a great way to prevent the virus from spreading. This also shows you are being kind by not wanting to spread germs to others. If you are healthy, Wearing a mask can protect you if you are around someone who is coughing and sneezing. When someone is sick and sneezes, germs can spread from their nose or mouth up to six feet. So for everyone, a safe distance is six feet, or like the length of your bed. If you don't have a tissue, you should always cough and sneeze into your upper sleeve or in her elbow. Some viruses can be very contagious and cause an outbreak. When this happens, older adults like grandmas and grandpas, as well as people with low or compromised immune systems can get sick very easily. And it can be very harmful. We need to be responsible and help protect them. We can do this by hand washing and limiting contact with others by keeping a safe distance. During an outbreak, if safe distancing doesn't slow down the virus fast enough, everyone will need to stay home. This means no parties or seeing friends or extended family. Schools may also be closed for a while too. This is called a stay at home order. When everyone stays home, doctors have time to find out more about the virus and prepare for patients. It also helps them find a treatment that can help before the virus hurts a lot of people. When we stay at home, can we leave our house at all? Great question! You can go for a walk with your immediate family as long as you are at a safe distance from others. People can also leave their homes if it is absolutely necessary, like to get food or go to the doctor or 
if their job is considered essential. What are essential workers? Essential workers need to be at work to help keep us safe. They help treat sick people and deliver and stock important items. These people are doctors, nurses, police officers, grocery store workers, and delivery workers, just to name a few. We should be thankful for these people who have the courage to go to work every day. Look, there are some essential workers. Staying at home will require a lot of patience and requires and support for each other. Patience not just from kids but grown-ups too and patience for your grown-ups. It can also be a great time to spread kindness by thanking all the people who help keep us safe. There may be times you will feel sad that you can't see friends and family, but there are other ways to connect with them. You can video chat them or call them on the telephone. Or you can write a letter and send it through the mail. You can even decorate the envelope or include some artwork too. This time can be difficult for a lot of us and getting a letter in the mail can brighten someone's day. Since school buildings may be closed, you will have to learn as much as you can at home. And that can be fun too. You can learn math by measuring ingredients while baking, or by sorting clothes, counting shirts, and matching socks too. You can learn a new skill or spend extra time with your immediate family. It can inspire you to be creative or encourage you to get organized and tackle new projects. Hopefully I was able to help you understand more about viruses and why people need to keep a safe distance and stay at home. It's important to keep a positive outlook and remember that viruses don't last forever. If we work together, things will get better. So boys and girls, what do you love most about spending time at home? I will have a spot for you in Seesaw if you're a kindergartner, first or second grader to tell me, as well as encourage you on K for Kindness Day to maybe write a note to someone to spread some kindness and send it in the mail. If you need ideas, let me know. I hope you have a wonderful day at home and help out around that house. Bye.